Hey guys, in this installment of my Tackle Tip Tuesday video, I just want to go over my method for selecting creature bait colors in soft plastics. This is what I'm using for flipping and pitching and really for jig trailers. Uh, I, I'm really simple on this one. I generally choose three types of colors um, and, and they kind of fall in within the same color range on some of them. So the first one I'm going to go over with you is super muddy water. Less than six inches of visibility. Black. Something black. Whether it be black and red flake like this Bass Pro Crack Crawl. Uh, one of my all-time favorites is the South African Special Color and the uh, Crack Crawls and, and the Zoom uh, Baby Brush Hogs. I have another color you'll see coming up in, in some new videos. Uh, it's a black and orange color, kind of a camo swirl pattern. I have it in a Natural State Lures um, Swamp Demon, which looks real similar to the Strike King Rage Bug. Um, and, and so I'm just following within that predominantly black for that super muddy water. Okay, so say you come up to a little bit more visibility, like say you've got, um, we'll go six inches to a foot and a half. I'm going to use something like June Bug. June Bug is an awesome color for me. I've had a lot of good luck with June Bug in that kind of situation. But even still, and it, that is my pick with visibility six inches to a foot and a half. But you can even still get away with the more natural watermelon colors. Okay, so now we're going to talk about my clear water selection. And when I say clear water, I mean visibility anywhere from two foot to whatever. Folks, it's natural. Try to get as natural as you can get. But I'm going to show you two different baits here and I'm going to talk about them. This is Watermelon Red Strike King Rage Book. Okay, this is my my favorite color for clear water. Um, but this is a Okeechobee Crawl in the Strike King Rage Book. This side, they look real similar. This side, it has some blue. Now, how do you choose? Well, that simply falls into a personal preference thing for you. Now, you can match them to the hatch if you say they spit up a crawl and you can match it. But in general, what I have found, as long as the color resembles the color that they're feeding on, you're fine. Uh, and in clear water, as long as it's natural, because most of the time the crawfish are going to kind of try to, to blend in with the bottom. Their, their, their carapace is going to look a lot like the bottom. So... When it comes to choosing those colors between just a standard watermelon candy, watermelon red, whatever, or an Okeechobee crawl, that's still that natural kind of look, just go on your personal preference, whatever you have the most confidence in. And guys, that is really as simple as I keep it with selecting soft plastic creature bait. I, I don't go outside of that kind of range right there. Um, with the exception of I got another one here that's kind of natural that I've done really well with. Um, matter of fact, first YouTube video I ever did, I did it with Trophy Technology. And this is a rip lip soft plastic knuckle dragger, which is the same as that, uh, the same bait as the Natural State Lures Swamp Demon. This is Caramel Apple. But it's still a super natural, like this is almost a green pumpkin here. Um, and then it's got that brighter bottom. And yet again, this is just a confidence thing. Um, I, we caught a lot of fish on this color that day. But it's still natural. But that that to me that that lighter green bottom just gave it a little bit different look from what other people were fishing that day. But yet again, I'm, I'm keeping it within the the um, natural family there. Um, but really and truly, you know, this is a color here designed to catch fishermen, and it caught me. I saw it and I really liked it and wanted to try it. So. Don't let bait colors, uh, soft plastic colors, overwhelm you. Keep it real simple. Now, if you, by all means, if you enjoy having tons of bags of soft plastics in your boat, different colors and fighting through them, that's fine. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But for me, I have to keep it real easy to keep from getting spun out when I'm not getting by. Or from, from making a quick selection when I'm going to the lake, starting off, what am I going to start with? Well, I'm going to look at the watercolor. I'm going to decide if that watercolor is muddy, stained, or clear, and then I'm going to cho choose my soft plastic base color based off of that. Now, in my next tackle tip video next week, 
I'm going to go over selecting, kind of looking at your creature base and selecting one based off the size. So hope y'all enjoyed this. Like it if you like it. Be sure to subscribe and check us out next week.